here. Alright, so this right here is how you get to the sounds and band lab. So you open up the app first. Put the plus sign. Then open up studio. And on the bottom right corner, you see the band lab sounds. Band lab launch. It's that bottom right right button. I click on that and it brings me into here. Now I go to loops. You can pick one of the packs, but you're kind of wasting your time. You go to loops, it's, it's more direct. So I got a choice between bass, synth, synth guitar, and all of that. Right now I'm looking for a background sound that I want to choose. And, um, these are all, these are basically the topics of what, you're, what sounds you're looking for. All of these have different samples, different sounds. So I believe last time we used jazz, this time I went to P H O and K, which is and K, excuse me, which is fun. But all I was getting out of here was drum sounds. I wasn't looking for that. I'm, I'm looking for the sound that's going to be the background music before I actually put my drums up there. So I'm just scrolling through, and as you can see in this one, there's no samples. So I want a sample first. That's just how I start my beats. You might start with the drums first. That's cool. Either way, this is all the same ways to get into loops. And then one of those topics. So I remove the funk and I'm going to samples. You see drums and beats? Pass right by. We'll go back to them though. So I went to sample. And I'm looking for a specific sound of a sample that I want. look closely at each sample they have the beat per minute on there it's the name of the sample how many beats per minute it is and the one I pick which is this one is 125 beats per minute so I want to find drums that's going to match this sample so once I figure out this is the one I want I hit the plus button to add it to my tracks loading and I added that sound so now I got that sound I want to play it listen to it think about what I'm going to do what I'm going to do next uh, before I add another track I want to loop the track so that I can just have, have it on play see I'm playing I'm listening to it and I'm moving the, the I, I don't have the verbiage for it but that white line basically is where my track is so I loop it so that it stays in place and it's easier for me to line up everything. I hit pause and then I hit the um the back icon, the back icon right on the left side of the record button every time I want it to reset. I hit pause, reset, and then it'll lock it in. So now I'm going back in, hit the band lag tracks, and I got my samples, but now I'm looking for beats. So I click on I unclick those. And I'm still in loops. So I'm, now I'm looking for drums or beats. Drums give you drums, beats give you pretty much the same thing as the drums. It's gonna give you a roll. Now I didn't specifically pick hip hop or anything. I just hit beats, and these are the, the beats that he gave me. If I wanted to be more specific, I could have added hip hop trap type beats or whatever I, I was trying to get into. But I just picked a beat that was 125 beats per minute. Play. There you have it. I got my drums. I got my sample. The only thing to do now is it would be for me to add some sort of bass. And this is just real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to go into too much depth on making a whole beat. It's just how to find it. Again, band lab sounds I think that's what it says I can't see from here. Band lab sounds I highlight
highlight loops. And right now I got it on beats, but I want to take it off beats and I want to look for a bass. Let me see if I can find a bass that's going to make this sound. Now these are random sounds that I'm using, so it's going to be harder for me to match one of them. But I'm going to make an attempt this time, just so you can see. Okay, this is, this is a bass, this is a bass. I'm not being specific, I'm not being direct. I'm just playing with it. See what, 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 what can sound good with what I got going on. I'm playing through the different beats. Just to hear it. I mean, basses, excuse me. But you can experiment with all, all, all of these sounds. And take out what you don't want. Play. I see. I'm not really feeling that bass. That bass is a good bass. It just don't go with this beat that I'm making. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna remove this, and I'm gonna add another track to it. So this time I'm gonna add a virtual instrument. And when I add a virtual instrument bass. I don't just use the 808s, I scroll over to synth bases. Synth bases. And I use the a certain type of beat bass for this one. You can experiment with all of these, but the square sub bass is pretty much a go-to. Now I'm playing with the keys to see exactly how I want this bass, what keys I need to, to, to touch to, to, to match the bass. So I hit play, and I, and I found my keys. So now I'm finding a, a, a pattern that I need to play the keys. Again, I'm not a musician. I just know how to use apps. Which keys go with what? Once I find the key that matches the pattern, I'm gonna play with it a little bit and I'm gonna record it. Excuse the truck in the background, the track. Yeah. 
Out of here. 